What's up, YouTube? As you can tell, <clears throat> my little uh, Isaac Hayes is trying to come in. You know, um, I'm going to let it grow in this winter. You know, make me look a little, you know, I think it makes me look a little uh, unshaven. But anyway, um, I'm going to let that go in and see how it looks, you know. I think this side is looking good. This side is just like, hey, dude, we going to do what we want to do. And this side is like, hey, we'll cooperate. But anyway, um, I hope everybody's having a nice fall season. I like when it gets a little crisp in the air and the leaves start uh, falling, even though I don't like wrecking them suckers. But um, just before it got cold, um. I had the opportunity to uh, take my my kids fishing. Now, um, I don't know if any dads out there feel like me, but it is one of my high priorities to make my sons uh, think that I'm the hero. It's important to me, and you may call it e egotistical, but it's important for me for my kids to say, my dad took me fishing. My dad took me to the football game. My dad took me to the basketball game. My dad took me horseback riding. Because, you know, I'm I'm overcompensating for what I didn't have. So so it's important for them to say my dad took me there. So if anybody wants to take my kids somewhere, I want them to always say my dad did it first. Sorry, it's just a little thing, hang up I have. I just have to do that. So, so I took them fishing, right? And... I know as much about fishing as I know about the soil on Saturn. I don't know the first thing about fishing. So um, my pastor went with us because he's a fisherman. And uh, we go and we go to one of the spots he picked out. And uh, he bought a whole bunch of night crawlers. You know, little worms. You know, that... Uh, you put on the, on the hook so you know macho dad we walk around we get in there take the, the riding reels out you know i just know what i know what i'm doing and i um put the thing on he opened that thing and all them little freaky little things and so i'm like all right um so my sons are like oh worms and so um you know they didn't want to touch them but they just want to look at them and they was like dad Put the worm on the hook. And I was like, yeah. And so I put this thing on the hook and the thing's just slippy and slimy and grimy. And I ain't touched the worms since I was like seven or eight. And I don't remember worms being this grimy and slimy. Maybe God changed worms or something. So I put the thing on there and as soon as that worm got stuck by the hook, he was like, oh God, I'm hurting him. Then he wrapped around my finger like, oh, please take the hook out, take the hook out. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, little, little man. And so the pastor said, just put them on there, just slide them on the hook. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So I had to kill him, you know, like stab his whole body and put him on there. And he was still like, oh, Lord Jesus. And I was like, wow. So I got over that. <clears throat> and so I got the thing. Threw it in the water. And so we just waiting. And I'm just kind of getting over, you know, <clears throat> committing worm homicide. And so we, um, I'm, uh, we waiting and waiting and waiting. And so, uh, we, yeah, like, a, 45 minutes go by and we don't have a single bite. And my kids ask me, Dad, how come we ain't caught nothing yet? I don't have an answer. So I look over to the pastor and he say, Maybe too cold right now. Let it warm up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, son, it's too cold. It's too cold to, right now. Just let it warm up some. And so <clears throat> another like 45 minutes go by and then he's like, Hey, Dad, anything biting yet? No, ain't nothing biting yet, son, because. <laughs> Don't worry, as soon as the sun warms, this water, they'll come back. It ain't warmed up enough yet. 
ain't warmed up enough yet. And uh, he asked me about five or six times, different times, how come we didn't get a bite yet. But they were biting, but because I was like a little squeamish about putting this worm on this thing, because I was feeling this worm's pain. Because one time this worm moved out the way and it's, the, the hook stuck me in the finger. And I was like, okay, now if this is a fraction of what this worm is feeling, I'm like, God, how do I even go through with this? Anyway, so I'm trying to be the man in front of my kids, though. Can't let them know that I'm letting them down. So, uh, <clears throat> so uh, a fish had went by and started nibbling on my hook and knocked the, uh, the, the worm off because you know that worm wasn't all the way on there because if, if I did it, it's not all the way on there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I had to go back and get another night crawler and put them on the hook. So I put the thing on the hook and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, this thing, this one was like, ah! Just worse than the other one. Just wrapping them, my, just wrapping around my finger like, oh, I'm like, I know your pain, sir. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, please heal this, this worm before I throw it in the water and it get ate. So I'm going through all these different emotions and always and still trying to be cool in front of my kids. Like, and so, uh, anyway, I got this one on there pretty good, and then I reeled him out, and. Um, <clears throat> This time, we got a bite. And you would have thought that, you know, I want a million dollars. <clears throat> I mean, I'm fighting with this thing, and I mean, I'm pulling this sucker in, and his mouth came out the water like, whoa. And I'm like, yeah, son, look at what dad is doing. I'm pulling this sucker. Man, I get that fish out that water. The look on my son's faces when they saw their dad yank that fish out that water was priceless. I am like soda man to my kids right now. And, <clears throat> you know, um, my pastor whispered to me and said, Yeah, that's a dirty fish. You got to throw that one back. So, uh, I had to explain to my kids why we can't keep this fish. So, uh, without lying to him, I said, uh, we don't want this fish, son, um, uh, you know, something wrong with him. And, uh, <clears throat> which it was, it was a little ground-dwelling fish, and so they're not good to eat. But, <clears throat> see, I, right now, they think that I'm a master fisherman. That was the first fish I ever caught in my life. And so I'm thoroughly satisfied with them thinking that I'm the man. We caught the fish and took a whole bunch of pictures with it and stuff like that. You know, like I'm looking like ain't nothing but a thing, you know. And my pastor's over there cracking up at us because, you know, he know the real deal. He know that I was squeamish about worms. And not that I'm squeamish about worms, but I'm squeamish about putting worms through torture. Putting a hook. <laughs> inside of the worm and just just driving it through his body it's like torture and he go to shaking and squirm. I couldn't I mean call me a wimp but uh that's a that's a living thing that I just tortured so uh we caught this gigantic fish man too bad we had to throw him back or I'd have showed him to you but uh we did take pictures and um but you know, it took about four of us to lift this thing. Even though, I mean, for real, it's just like me, the pastor, the kids, all of us, you know, had to lift this thing and take a picture of it. And uh, it was just, it was just a good day. Y'all be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys later.